So today I want to pose a question for you all. If we lived in an ideal world, what would you do? How would you spend your time? What would your life look like under this ideal society? If we didn't have to go seek out work, if we didn't have to go to work for our basic sustenance, if food was readily available, if we didn't have to pay off homes or houses or mortgage or pay rent, if we didn't have to worry about medication, what would life look like for you? How would you choose to spend your time in that reality? You know, in a world where housing, food, medicine are all rights and all of our needs are covered and money is no longer an issue, how would you spend your time? And I know for a lot of people, the first response would probably be something to, you know, the idea of, I would take time to rest. I would heal. I would spend more time with my family. Or maybe I'd get the medical care that I've been looking for or seeking or needing and haven't had time because of work. But after that self-care, after providing for yourself and providing yourself the time to deal with burnout and stress and anxiety and healing, what would you do? What would your life look like in those ideal circumstances? And I pose this for a few different reasons. Uh, the primary reason for me being we spend a lot of time under capitalism critiquing the system. We spend a lot of time talking about the ills of it and having to suffer through the daily life and grind of trying to make, make it past another day. I think it's important as leftists and just as people in general to imagine what your life and end goal is. What is it that you're fighting for as a leftist? And maybe you don't get to have this in your lifetime, but it's important to document it. It's important to talk about it because future generations might actually think it's important to know what past generations missed out on and to give them the future oppor you know the future generations the opportunity to have a chance at that life is something worth fighting for but if you could have it what would you do with it next i think it's important to analyze and discredit the perspective that a lot of right wing people have when it comes to the idea that leftists, if we got our ideal world, would just not be incentivized without profit. People are creative. People like to come up with new ideas and perspectives, and they want to do things. There's so many activities. Ask any person what they wish they could be doing, like I'm doing right now. And I guarantee you there's a list of tasks and responsibilities that they just haven't gotten to. So in an ideal world, where we didn't have to have for-profit models motivating us, what would you do? And I keep thinking about this for myself as well. And that's probably another reason why I'm talking about this. And honestly, if it was something that shifted during my lifetime, the thing I would love to do is go out and document these experiences to look at the joy on people's faces as they are no longer in the toil and drudgery that they were in before and watch them try to figure out a different way of life for themselves, to see the art that is produced, to see the science that is produced, to see the results of a change in that kind of perspective and mindset to a more communal function. What, you know, what would that transition look like in terms of joy and happiness? That's something I would love to study. And if it was something different where I just woke up one day and was in that reality and it's not something I had to deal with. I feel like one of the things that I would want to do, honestly, is study more about herbs and trees and knowledge in that particular vein of things. You know, I'd, I'd want to set up something akin to a, an apothecary backed up by scientific knowledge and kind of figure out ways to utilize that to help people. That's something that I would just personally love to explore, you know, and outside of that, I'd love to set up a communal kitchen and, you know, either take part in preparing meals every now and then for a commune of people or to explore that. 
these are the things that if I had my ways outside of the rest that I, I feel like I would want and require and the healing and the care and all that stuff, those are the things that I would pursue if I had my way and I didn't have to worry about money or resources or anything else. And the funny thing is, is it's labor that I would want to be doing in capitalism anyway, but just don't have access to. And I want to see a world where we're all able to reach out and get to this point, where we're able to reach a society where it's not just a handful of people getting this dream and luxury of being able to do the things they want to do, but everyone having the opportunity, everyone being able to take that chance and do the things that they love and are passionate about. I want to see what people produce. And so I pose this question for you. And if you don't comment and if you don't do anything with it right now, keep it in the back of your mind. Because as we move forward, as the struggle for rights and for fighting against forms of oppression continues moving forward, it is Im important and imperative to ask that question of yourself, even if you don't have an answer right now. What would be my life? under this ideal situation. With that said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and bell for notifications. You can follow me on Twitter and check out my Discord in the description down below. My name is Anarchist Tara. I hope you enjoyed watching and keep questioning what your life should look like in the future.